am James. And I am Jeremy. This is Jeremy. How you doing? Jeremy is new. Yep. Jake's gone. Bye, Jake. We Bye. miss Jake a lot. We yes, do miss Jake a lot. Do. But now we have Jeremy. We kept with the J's. That's what we yeah, tried to do. Got anyway. to. Makes it easy. Makes it easy. Makes it easy. For sure. All right. So we haven't done a video for a long time. So what we're going to look at today is what is the best Harley Davidson that you can buy for you? Okay. Because everybody's got their own opinions. Like, this mm -hmm. one's the best. That one's yep. the best. Yep. What we're going to look at in this video is, well, three different categories, I think. You're a brand new rider. Mm -hmm. What Harley's for you? Okay. You are a seasoned Harley rider, but maybe okay. you want something a bit bigger, more powerful. Yep, yep. Or you're brand new to the Harley. Let's say you've been riding a Honda, a Kawasaki, a Yamaha, a BMW. Mm -hmm. We could go on and yeah, Ducati. Yeah. We could go on. So we're going to break it down that way and have a look which is the best for you. So okay. where do you want to start? Um, how about we start brand new to Harley? Brand new. I like yeah. brand new. Yeah, brand, brand new. new. Okay. Brand new to Harley. So this is people that have ridden before? Correct. Yep. Okay, so yep. people that have ridden before. Mm -hmm. Let that turn off. Two very boring minutes later. All right, so people that have ridden before but are new to Harleys, more of a brand type thing. You know, right. when you see Harley Davidson, you you know, everything's all about Harley. Bar and Shield on everything. So And Willie G schools, which Absolutely. I hate, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Can't stand them. I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't stand them. I don't get it. So with coming over to the Harley world, you know you know you want to stay with the cruiser. So I maybe recommend a street bob or a soft tail of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, we have your, your soft tail platform, which I will argue is probably right now the best handling of the Harley Davidsons. Yep. I, I think that platform is spectacular when mm -hmm. it got uh, redone in 2018, I believe it was. Yep. When they did away from the Dinas, which I am still not happy about because I love Dinas. You're but, a Dyna hey, rider, aren't you? I do. I yeah, have you a, have a Dyna, low that's right. Yeah, yep. the, the Dinas had a, uh, they had a uh, following. They still have a following because they were great. I mean, yeah, they were cool bikes. Definitely. But now we have the soft tail. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Deal with it. Live with oh, well. it. Uh, you have to. Have to. I mean, you don't have no choice. I, I mean, they still got the Street Bob, Fat Bob. You know. Now, Street Bob is a great bike. Absolutely. I love the yep. Street Bob. Is that, that is, 114. Oh, that 114 is amazing, which is new yeah. for was it last year, I think it was, right? Uh, last year? Yes. Yeah, yep. last year, yep. 21 was the, the 114s. It's an epic engine, and it makes that motorcycle so great because it's so customizable. It's mm -hmm. essentially, if you think of yourself as a motorcycle riding painter, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're not going to do that. That's no, terrible. No, <laughs> That's no, terrible. No. But you can customize architect. it. An architect. Oh, an architect. Yeah. You're an architect of yeah. motorcycles. All right. You're just a bloke that wants to buy a motorcycle <laughs> and do stuff to it. You Absolutely. can put bars on it. You can yeah. put everything there. You know, windshield. Windshield. Lights. I mean, you can really customize that. You yeah. can make it look like a West Coast style. Mm -hmm. uh, you can you can chop it if you want. We don't yeah. recommend that. No, no, but no, you no, could no. chop it if you want. Make it into a really cool chopper. I yeah. mean, it's it's a great platform to start mm -hmm. with. And that's what I've noticed about you know being in the Harley world and, and, and seeing the um, the metric brands and all. With Harley, there's so much you can do to a yeah. bike. You know, you may go to a rally and see a hundred of the same bike, but each one is going to have something different on it. Well, that's the thing with Harley Davidson, mm -hmm. isn't it? I mean, they, mm -hmm. you, you buy a motorcycle, you never keep it that way. There no. are very few people that buy a Harley and say, yep, that's exactly how I'm going to yep. keep it. Yep. And I know, I know people say, well, then why would you buy it if you've got to do all this stuff to it? It's not mm -hmm. about doing this yeah. stuff to it. You don't have to. You, you could buy to. a Harley and ride it like that mm -hmm. forever. But you gotta make it your own. That's right, that's mm -hmm. that's the beauty yeah. of it. You make it your own motorcycle. So, Street Bob, that's a good way to go. That's a good start. It, 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 it is, is a good, is a good start. start. I mean, you can get into, you know, like a Lowrider S, which is awesome. Absolutely, now it has the 117 on the it. The 117's insane. Man. But again, there's not, you can't customize that. I mean, I, I don't wanna say you can't customize that as much. You can, yeah. but it's not quite a blank slate that the, uh, the Street Bob is. Yeah. The Street Bob is much more of a blank yeah. slate. If you go with Lowrider, you're buying into that California style mm -hmm. and that's sort of where you're at with yeah. that motorcycle, which Absolutely. is cool. I mean, you know, it, it's a cool style, but you are locking yourself into that a little bit more, I think, yeah. than maybe with the Street Bob. Yeah, I agree, mm -hmm. 100%. There we go. Yeah, so you've been riding another style of motorcycle, okay, whatever it is, whether it's been a sport bike or just kind of a cruiser adventure bike, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Even when a you, dirt bike. Even a dirt bike, yeah. You come into the Harley world, it can be a little intimidating at first because the bikes are big, especially the touring yeah. bikes. When yeah. you're getting you know, a road glide, street glide, these are big motorcycles, they got weight. They're a little bit intimidating if you've never been on a Harley Davidson. So that's why 
I think the soft tail platform is a good way to start, start yeah, most yeah, definitely. dip your toes in there because you're going to get a bike that handles really well, mm -hmm. which is probably what you're used to if you're coming from a more of a sport bike uh, orientation. Mm -hmm. The soft tails do, you can whip them around a little bit more. They're a little bit more nippy, which I, I, yeah. I think is, uh, which you're going to be more comfortable with. Yep. Now, if you are ready for those bigger bikes and you know, say, hey, I want to do a little bit more traveling on this motorcycle. So we'd recommend going to a touring model. Um, touring models are wonderful for storage and you can get the ones that have the fairings on it. You got yep. your GPS, you got your music, sound, everything of the sort like that. I personally just like the cruiser look. That's just me personally though. Yeah. And I think the name, you know, the, what, what are the purpose is in the name of the touring motorcycles. Mm -hmm. They are really for touring. Yes, you can jump on them and run down the shop and get a few things, but the size of them, for me, this is just for me personally, but the size of them makes it where you don't just jump on it to run down the street. Yeah. You know, these are, you have a destination in mind, you want mm -hmm. to be comfortable doing it, mm -hmm. you want to have all the amenities, the GPS, uh, you know, the stereo, the yeah. speakers, the all, comfort all that, too. the comfort, yeah. that's the way to go. Yeah. All right, so for first motorcycle ever, um, we do offer a class um, that is on the XG, but they no longer make the XG. So what are you gonna start on? Um, say if the bike may be a little bit too heavy, you know, you don't wanna stay uh, maybe with the, the lowest weight that they have. We say go with the Sportster. Even on the Sportster S or the new 975 Nightster, you can go with either one of those. Okay, so that brings us to a point then. Let's discuss. So you've got right now in the Sportster lineup, You've got the 883, yep. the OG, the original, mm -hmm. and we did a video on that uh, called A Love Song to the 883, I'll link it somewhere up here, you can have a watch of that. Uh, and that was just, it was really just, we got on the 883, it's a basic raw motorcycle, mm -hmm. it's not really changed much since the 50s, mm -hmm. which is good and bad, uh, but we think good. Which is why we did a love song to the 883. <laughs> then you've got the 1200s, yep, yep. okay, which is a little bit more powerful mm -hmm. than the 883. A little bit more laid back, you know, yeah. kind of. Feel yeah, the bars for it. are up a little mm -hmm. bit higher. Yeah. Uh, it's starting to get more into that cruising style. Yep. Then you've got the sports dress. Oof, that's a whole different animal. Completely different animal. And, and I would argue that that's not a great bike for a beginner. Nope. It's mm -hmm. a lot of power on that machine. Uh, it's, I mean, it handles beautifully, it rides mm -hmm. great. Uh, there's a video to that. I'll link that somewhere. Uh, it, it's a great bike. Beginner? Mm. Not so much. And especially how it sits too. It seems like it sits kind of high up. Yeah. Even well, me and you, you know, we're, we're kind of tall and we're yeah, still I mean, kind of flat foot. I mean, it's you know, definitely not. It's not beginner friendly, mm. I would say. And I think that's just down to the power of it. I mean, yeah. it, you twist that throttle. Mm. It goes, it really goes. It makes my hair go back in the yeah. wind. Now we, we haven't been able to test ride at night, so unfortunately yet. Um, it promises to be amazing. I mean, yeah. it looks essentially like a Sportster, mm -hmm. uh, whereas the sports dress sort of veered away from that look a little bit. Yeah. The Nightster looks like a traditional sporty mm -hmm. again. And if the engine's half as good and powerful as it is in the sports yeah. dress, it's yeah. gonna be a mean machine. But that again- revolution motor. Yeah, the revolution's mm -hmm. awesome. Again, it may not be for beginners though. It's again, it's going to be a lot of power there. So if, if you're comfortable with a the bike, then go for it. Yeah. If you feel like it's a little too much, maybe an 883 Definitely. is a better way to go. Mm -hmm. But then the question is though, is that obsolete now? That's true. With them going to the newer motor on the Sportster right? S and the Nightster now. Yeah. I mean, the 883, it's still hanging around. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, you know, the drunk uncle who, <laughs> when you have a party, He's the last one there telling mm -hmm. you stories about things that may or may not have happened. Yeah, that's true. You're kind of like, oh, Uncle Dave, would you just go away? <laughs> you know, that, is that what the 883's become? Is it? I mean... Or is there still a place for it? I think there is still a place for it, you know, for now. Until, yeah. Well, you know. let us know in the comments below as well what you think. Yeah. Is there a place for the 883 or is it something that's just become completely obsolete? Now it's yeah. been replaced by the Revolution engine. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I still think that bare basic motorcycles amazing. Yeah, especially with the Revolution motor still being so new too. You know, people might want to hang on to that. Right, hold on to a little bit. It's reliable. It's mm -hmm. proven. Yeah. It'll run forever yeah. uh, with minimal maintenance. It's, mm -hmm. it's a great bushier. It's a great platform. But yeah. is it obsolete? Let us know. Yeah. I'm curious to know what Let you us think. Know what you think? Okay, so let's say you 
ride an adventure motorcycle or you want to ride an adventure yeah. motorcycle yeah. we know that's a pretty crowded category right exactly now. yeah uh, i mean yeah. you've got the bmws mm -hmm. the ducatis mm -hmm. the ktms mm -hmm. uh, some of the japanese are making some pretty decent adventure bikes yep. right now and then you have the pan america Ooh. when harley said they were making an adventure bike i did a little giggle yeah i'll be honest i was like man adventure bike harley yeah, yeah. no it was like, nah, that's not going to work. Can't see a big bearded guy on an adventure bike. No. Vests and dressing like a pirate don't no. go with adventure <laughs> bikes, right? They just don't. They don't. Then it came in. I've seen it. And I rode it. And rode it. And uh, it knocked my socks off, to be honest. Now, I've seen I, it happen. They, they, Your socks went flying. Like that. But I have some experience in the adventure bikes. I've owned a few. Uh, and I can honestly tell you that if I were looking for an adventure bike right now, the Pan America would be right at the top of that mm -hmm. list. It is that good. You know, I've owned BMWs and a couple of other brands. And uh, I can honestly tell you that the Pan America is as good, if not better, than all of those. It has all the safety tech. Mm -hmm. It's got everything you want. It's extremely comfortable. Um, it should be reliable. Yep. I mean, so far, well, the definitely. engine has proven to be absolutely rock solid. Yep. And I yep. see no reason that that shouldn't continue. And it looks cool. You know, it adventure bikes, cool. they all they have a certain look to them. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see a Pan America, it looks a little bit different, yeah. which I think is cool. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. you know, when you, you're out on the trail with some other guys, everyone's going to go, oh. That's nice. Holly Davidson Pan America, yeah. what do you know? You're going to turn heads with that. Oh, I mean, absolutely, absolutely. It's a head turn. And we did do a video on the Pan America. I'll link that boop up there. It's, uh, it's actually not a very good video. Uh, so if you would be really kind, give it a thumbs up just, just for my own ego, really. That's, that's all I need. Um, okay, and then we do have one other bike to talk about. We do. We do. We do. The uh, live wire. No longer Harley Davidson live wire. Right. Just which, live wire. Which makes it, we, we sort of said, do we put the live wire in this video or do we not put this mm. video in this live wire? Because not every Harley dealership sells live wires yeah. now. There are just specific live wire dealers. So if you need one, uh, you're gonna have to look at this. Falcon's Fury, Harley Davidson, Conyers is a live yep. wire dealer, so yep. they are here. But it, it, it's not a Harley anymore, nope. it's a live wire. Mm -hmm. But it is a Harley. It is. I mean, it's exactly I mean, it's, the same as the last It was born a Harley. Harley. It was born a Harley, yeah. and then it, it, it changed. Now it's swimming on the women's team. <laughs> we're not going to go there. We're just not going to go there. We're going to take that out. <laughs> no, we're we're, we're going to leave it in, but we're just not going to go there. Uh, it's, um, I love the live wire. I do, actually. Uh, I, I, there's a video for it. We'll put it up here. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. If it wasn't for the lower range, I yeah. would own one. Yeah, that's the thing that gets me about it. You know, yeah. barely 200 miles on it. On the new ones, yeah, on the new, the live wire branded ones, yeah. you, you get that. And is it enough? Uh, if you live in a city, yes, probably. Mm -hmm. If you live not in a city, so <laughs> that'd be the country. Yeah. <laughs> if you live in the country. If you live in the not city. <laughs> if you live in the not city part of the country. Um, <laughs> I, it's, I don't know, mm -hmm. like right now where the technology is at, it is tough to recommend because you're not going to be able to keep up with your mates on a mm -hmm. ride. I mean, you'll keep up with them because it's faster than yeah. them. I mean, you'll yeah. fly. Physically, you're going to go too go fast because then you only have 150 miles. Well, that's the other thing too. Yeah. If you ride it like you want to ride it because it's fun, mm -hmm. it, your mileage, you can just watch it go down. So that's sort of a, it, it's a negative, but it's an incredible piece of technology. Oh, yeah, it's, that it, get up and go power. Yeah, I mean, it's, the it, throttle it's, response is amazing. Yeah, it is an amazing piece of technology. Mm. Is it there yet? I don't know. Mm. I mean, you know, it's it's one of those things, you know, you've got your Tesla. Do you want a mm. live wire too? <laughs> Pretty much testing the waters with it. You, you are testing say. the waters. Yeah. It, it, it's definitely, you'd be a first adopter, even though it's now in its second iteration. I, yeah. I still feel like you're a first adopter in the live wire. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want one, get one, because they are absolutely brilliant. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're staggeringly good. One of my all-time favorite motorcycles, to mm -hmm. be honest. It's just I need the range. Just It, it gets me. Could uh, be better. It I could agree. be better. I and, and I think it will be better as, as technology oh, yeah, increases yeah. and we see bigger batteries coming smaller smaller yep. does that make sense Bigger yeah it does because you gotta think how did cell phones start off you had a brick yeah now just have everything about this size right but with cell phones they were bricks and then they got tiny yeah. and now they're, and they're bigger bricks again, again. Just so, <laughs> so i don't know why that happened yeah um 
Hmm. Leave a comment below if you know, because I have no idea. I don't know either. All right, so that's our thoughts on which Harley Davidson you should buy. Yeah. Uh, you'll be happy with any, to be honest, and it really just depends what kind of style you want to do. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. And what type of riding you're going to do? You know, exactly. What do you plan on doing? Yeah. Uh, just cruising around town. Yep. Um, Soft tail's the way to go. Yep. If you want to go down to Florida or hey, California. You got to go touring. Absolutely. And you've got so many options. You got Road King if you don't want that fairing. Yep. Yep. You've got Street Glide if you want the fairing attached mm -hmm. to the bike or to the handlebars rather. Mm -hmm. Or you've got Road Glide, which is my personal favorite, mm -hmm. if you want that fairing attached to the frame and it's just amazing on the highway. Yeah. It and just... if you want to travel and go fast, they have the Street Glide and Road Glide ST. Yes. Mm -hmm. We didn't even talk about no, them. We didn't. Just we get didn't. those ones. Those Definitely. ones are great. Just get those ones. Forget everything we've said. Yeah, and give Ignore those. the video. Just get the STs of everything we've said. They're yep. fantastic. Yep. Lowrider right. ST. Lowrider ST, Road Glide. They're amazing motorcycles. Just amazing. get those. Forget the whole video. <laughs> Conclusion. Get an ST. Yep. No, yep. But, uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and mm -hmm. we'll, be, uh, we'll be back soon. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Once again, welcome. Cheers. I'm Jeremy. That's Jeremy. This is James. Uh, they know who I am. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. Jeremy. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>